Hey there, Kelly. Well, let's take a look at this chart right here. This is Logitech. This is a keyboard and headset maker. You can see it's doing a lot better than okay. It surged 38% since the start of Q4 of last year, and it's part of a rally of quote-unquote tangible tech that's really maintained momentum going into the new year. And it includes Dow component Cisco rising double digits during that same period. Their rival in the networking space, Juniper, up almost 20%, actually over 20% right now, just a few ticks higher. And then look at this. This is the maker of Jabra headsets, GN Nord, surging. 39% during that same time period. In contrast, mega cap tech and high growth names in the triple Qs and the WCLD ETF, both of them in the red. You can see them down there on the bottom of your screen. The mega macro trend of hybrid work is part of a reason for this surge in those office tech makers like GN Nord. The networking name is getting a big boost from the slowdown in that shift to the cloud. You got to remember, the majority of tech infrastructure is on-premise and 2023 spending estimates for quote-unquote traditional workloads still remains robust. You can see right here, it's actually higher than cloud spending. Companies that can provide both, think an SAP, an IBM, even an Oracle, that's a legacy tech name. You can see right here, it has really jumped uh, 36% since the start of Q4. They've been the biggest beneficiaries of this inflection point. It's fascinating. And, and yet, you know, how, do we read too much into the trends of the recent past? Or is it just evaluation reset or, or company specific? But it, it does seem as though this segment of the market is holding up much better. It's definitely holding up a lot better as investors have kind of done what we like to call risk off. I know that's like kind of inside jargony term. But investors just don't want to look at that look or are not looking for so much risk. That's why we've seen the uh, the uh, Kathy Wood ARK ETF suffer during this time. These are stable companies with stable free cash flow, something investors are really looking for during this time period. Great point. Frank, thank you. Thank Frank you. Holland.